Today in Luther's Kitchen, we'll be making salted caramel cookie bars or chocolate chip cookie bars. Your choice. We'll start with a wide angle of all the ingredients we'll need. Start off with two sticks of butter, room temperature, unsalted. Combine that with one cup packed light brown sugar and half a cup granulated white sugar. Add your paddle attachment and beat till well combined. It should have a consistency close to peanut butter. Scrape down the edge of, uh, edges of your bowl. Pardon me. And add in two eggs. Oh, don't look at that egg crack. Oh, that is totally not me. That was somebody else. Come on, guys, you know. I'm better at cracking eggs than that. Add in one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and one teaspoon baking soda. Beat till well combined. Once done, scrape down the edges of your bowl. And this is where you add in your flour. Two and a half cups of flour. Normally, you'll usually add in your flour slowly, bit by bit, until it's all well combined. And that's to make your final product fluffy. We want to add in all of our flour at once. Go all in. We want these to be compact of love, sweetness, and comfort. Once that is done, try to scrape off as much cookie dough from the powder you can. It's hard, I know, but I believe in you. Now the real challenge truly begins. To make the cookie bars, get about two thirds of your dough and place it in a baking tray with parchment paper. You need to spread out your cookie dough evenly. You know, maybe we should have used a rolling pin to at least get a start. It was a struggle, you know, pounding it, scraping it. <sighs> we tried. Once you completely covered your baking tray, add in sweetened condensed milk. Scrape it around, make sure it's an even coating. Then add in your chocolate chips or salted caramel chips like we did today. Then add in the rest of your dough. Now this is a struggle. You can see we're punching it down, scraping it with a spatula, and even pounding it with a measuring cup. Uh, I recommend rolling it out or using a more straightforward method. We were trying here, trying our best. After that, remove the top layer of parchment paper, put it in the oven, and what you get is a product of pure sugar and enjoyment. This is your ultimate cookie comfort food. For this recipe and more, visit myclasscancook.com.